as he was being placed into the ambulance on his way to the hospital, she reportedly said to him, don't die on me, I'm this week anyway. However, Ms. Seward noted that this still, but with the pandemic looming, he decided to ought to be closer to his wife. Yet, the source told Daily Mail that it actually helped the Queen sometimes when her husband was not living at the center of the royal life. They explained, she knows him too well, and if she was at the center of the royal, how the Queen appeared to notice that's when her husband was absent due to illness back in 2012. She wrote, when he was taken to the hospital after the river, Bateman to the Diamond Julie B, suffering from the bladder infection, the Queen looked diminutive and lost her in a different balcony apart from Kate Middleton and Kamala Parker Bowes to honor the two minute silence. Prince Charles laid a wreath on her behalf of the Saint of Tov, and as well as another one in tribute from himself. She requested the private settlement to pay her respects, occupied with the duties as the monarch. He made sure to rule over the family with his iron will. Although neither royal stalwarts are bronze in emotion, the Queen allowed the public to get some heartwarming insight into the relationship during her 15th wedding anniversary. This is this a thanks to Thanksgiving two days later. However, Miss Seward was quick to clarify that the Queen was actually handling the situation really well. She wrote, she even joked with Prince Philip after he had been taken ill at Windsor Castle the previous day. In her break as claims, she looked lost and diminutive during Philip illness emerged. Queen Elizabeth II looked lost and diminutive when her husband and close companion illustrates the bannering relationship they have always had and always will. Prince Philip then retired in 2017 at the existing age of 37 after earning a title for the oldest male royal and the longest serving royal consort in British history. Life, he could feel he had to be involved. Being at a good farm means he's not too far away but far enough to be able to relax. The monarch also attended a scaled down Remembrance Day service over the weekend with her husband. She stood alone on to spend occasion with his family at Sandringham. Still, during the ongoing lockdown, the Queen has opted to spend a month with her husband once again in Windsor Castle. As both are over 70, they are part of the at-risk category for COVID-19 and so could isolate together. The couple also celebrated their birthdays this year with one another during the first lockdown and Philip turned 99 on June 10 and the Queen turned 94 on April 21 and Prince Philip had been spending his entire at Wood Farm on the Sandringham Castle. Speaking in 1997, she said the Duke of Edinburgh was her strength and stay and that she and the family owe him a debt greater than he could ever claim or so ever know. Writing a newly released biography, Prince Philip revealed, author Ingrid Seward explains he is still thought to be in a good shape despite turning 99 in June but no longer carries out royal duties with his wife. Last year he went to hospital for a few days for a pre-existing health condition but he was discharged on Christmas Eve and was so able Prince Philip fell ill during a milestone occasion a biography has claimed. The Queen reigned for 75 years Prince Philip constantly by her side working tirelessly to uphold the monarchy's values along with her. What she was really the grave of unknown warrior too, as the lockdown restrictions prevented most veterans from attending such an event. Journalist David Dimbley even described her as a lonely figure during the solemn service, although royal fans maintained that she looked dignified rather than lonely. Prince Philip revealed, A Man of a Century by Ingrid Seward was published by Simon and Struster in 2020 and is available here.